Hydrothermal vents on the deep sea floor represent some of the most extreme environments for life anywhere on our planet. Lying unobserved in the cold and dark of the deep ocean, they host hundreds of exotic animal species that were completely unexpected until their first discovery at the end of the last century. Now, remarkably, it has emerged that some of these vents, lying in the deepest parts of the oceans, may not only host bizarre life forms, but may also reveal secrets to the origins of life on Earth. This, in turn, means that our research may also help inform where else we might best start the search for life beyond Earth, elsewhere in our solar system, and beyond. In our most recent work, sponsored in the United States by the National Science Foundation and NASA, we have begun a detailed investigation of the world's deepest hydrothermal field, named Picard for one of the great pioneers of deep ocean exploration. The site lies just south of the Cayman Islands in the Western Caribbean. Not only is this site the deepest, and hence highest pressure, hydrothermal field ever found, at roughly 5,000 meters below the ocean surface, but also one of the hottest. The highest temperature chimneys at this site emit vent fluids that are slightly in excess of 400 degrees Celsius. In addition to the geologic setting that allows these hydrothermal systems to become established, and the chemical composition of the fluids that result, what we are also particularly interested in with this study is the way that such systems are able to sustain life. At the base of the food chain are some of the most primitive life forms known on Earth. Microbes that thrive at the high temperatures found around vents and in the complete absence of oxygen. Conditions that may have been much more widespread in Earth's early oceans, and who knows where else. These microbes, in turn, fuel an abundant community of other animals. At Picard, the system is relatively straightforward. The microbes are grazed upon by a new species of blind shrimp, specially adapted to life around black smokers. And these, in turn, are grazed upon by abundant anemones that live around the periphery of both high temperature and lower temperature, more diffuse vents. Our work at these vents has just begun but we already know that this area would represent an ideal natural laboratory for longer term study of some of the most fascinating and least understood ecosystems here on Earth. In addition, however, the research we have started here should also help to predict where else we might seek for life in the future, elsewhere in our solar system.